Deep in the heart of Baluchistan, the harsh, arid terrain is bleak and unforgiving. It gives no quarter. It offers no respite. In this remote and isolated part of Pakistan, survival has always been tough. The cruel topography, coupled with the unrelentingly extreme climate, ensures that human endeavor is scattered. Settlements are few and far between. Infrastructure is hard to establish, and life is oftentimes nomadic, centered around isolated resources. Life here is seasonal also surviving where water is and following it all year round. It is no surprise then that adversity is a way of life for the people that live here. Born into the harsh realities of this place, where instability has always compounded their innumerable hardships. If not seen with one's own eyes, it would be hard to believe that one can eke out a survival here far removed from the many amenities countless Pakistanis take for granted every day. There are no roads here. Schools and hospitals are few and far between, which means that education and health care remains a major concern for the populace. <laughs> और ये सीजनल नोमिड जो है ये सर्दियों में जो है जाते हैं वहां पर सिंध के एरिया में और वहां पर डेरा मुरा जमाली और ये सीबी साइड पे जाते हैं और ये फिर अप्रैल के महीने में यहां पर आ जाते हैं और अक्टूबर तक ये यहां पर होते हैं और ये फिर अक्टूबर से फिर यहां से फिर शिफ्ट हो जाते हैं 6 महीने यहां पर होते हैं 6 महीने वहां पर जो है सिंध के साइड पे होते और ये आबादी तकरीबन हमारे इस नोमेडिक एरिया में 500 से 600 बच्चों पर मुश्तमिल होती है जो कि हर कैंपेन में हमारी ये टीम आती है और इसको कवर करती है हां इनका ज्यादातर जो है माल मवेशी का काम होता है माल मवेशी जहां पर ये लोग जहां पर घास चारे का वो इलाके में बंदोबस्त होता है फिर ये लोग यहां पर आते हैं क्योंकि यहां पर जब सर्दियों में बारिश होती है तो घास आती है फिर ये 3-4 महीने जो यहां पर होते हैं और इनका ज्यादातर जो मौशी वो है वो जो है जरिया मौश जो है वो मालदारी होती है मतलब बेड़ बकरियां होती है ये डेटा कलेक्शन हम यहां पर जब ये लोग आते हैं इससे पहले कैंपेन से पहले हम लोग जो है इनकी रजिस्ट्रेशन करते हैं एक एक बच्चे की फिर उसके बाद इनका घरों का डेटा लेते हैं बच्चों का डेटा लेते हैं उसके बाद इसके लिए प्लानिंग करते हैं और इसको फिर अगले कैंपेन में जो है हम लोग कवर करते हैं इस चीज को 
जो है शुक्रिया अदा करते हैं कि यू ए हमें सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं प्रोग्राम में पोलियो रेडिकेशन इनिशिएटिव में और स्पेशली जो इस एरिए का जो आयरिस्क पापोलेशन है जो हमारी जहाँ पर जो वायरस के फैलने का बहुत ज़्यादा खदशा होता है और यहाँ पर टीमों का रसाई भी बहुत मुश्किल होता है लेकिन फिर भी हम लोग जो है जो सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं डोनर्स हमें हम उसका शुक्रिया अदा करते हैं कि जो बच्चे यहाँ पर आते हैं और घर घर में हम लोग कोशिश करते हैं और ऐसा इलाका हमारे पास मौजूद नहीं है जहाँ पर हम लोगों की टीमों की एक्सेस ना हो हमारी टीम हर जगह पर एक्सेस करती है और बहुत सख्त और आर्ट रिच एरिया है ये असलकुम हमारो फिर को ठीक ठाक खैरियत और चुना कुना अच्छा The incredible diversity found throughout Pakistan means that the Emirates polio campaign faces unique challenges in different parts of the country. Apart from physical problems such as a lack of infrastructure or maintaining cold chain supply to ensure that vaccine efficacy is not compromised, there are cultural constraints in a province like Balochistan. that make it very challenging for health workers not native to the area and alien to its customs to overcome this the program has had to resort to employing health workers who belong to the locality they are operating in for easier access to the people who need it the most Maintenance of cold chain throughout the length and breadth of Pakistan across districts, cities, towns, union councils, villages and border areas is the key to eradication. Managing supply lines is a dynamic process, closely coordinated by partners with performance indicators regularly reviewed by the program. This includes maintaining a dynamic buffer stock of at least 30 to 40 million doses of each type of oral polio vaccine at the global level. Vaccine stocks are received. It is extremely important that the vaccine be stored, distributed and used optimally, maintaining proper cold chain temperatures. The data for in-country vaccine utilization and stock balances at national as well as sub-national levels is recorded and communicated accurately. completely and in a timely way to national regional and global levels a robust vaccine cold chain and logistics system including storage and transportation is the cornerstone of all immunization programs rigorous supply planning based on accurate data is ensured throughout the country It is a testament to the indomitable will and spirit of the Emirates polio campaign that it has not only penetrated this exacting terrain but has also ensured operational efficiency. A huge part of this is due to the fact that the campaign has become a legacy program as it has been on ground for 8 years now. In this time it has evolved and pivoted its efforts time and again to tackle polio in Pakistan. As an example of this peak efficiency, the Emirates polio campaign vaccinates 16 million children per month. Since inception in 2014, it has delivered 583 million polio drops in 8 years to 102 million children in 84 districts throughout all four provinces of Pakistan. This includes an astounding 127.6 million drops during the COVID-19 pandemic. 40% of the child population is covered by the Emirates polio campaign an immunization effort that is carried out by 103,000 frontline workers supervisors monitors and vaccinators supported by 82,000 security personnel on ground most importantly the Emirates polio campaign has beaten polio in Pakistan back to the brink of eradication with only one declared case so far in 2021 ये लोग जो है बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं इसके साथ मेरा काम बहुत अच्छी तरह से जा रहा है बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं रिफ्यूजल नहीं है बस जो भी होता है खुद से साफ ही कह देते हैं मुझे तंग नहीं करते कि या ना मैं दूंगी या ना ये या फलाना फलाना कुछ भी नहीं है बहुत अच्छे लोग हैं दूसरी बार ये तजर्बा मैंने ये सीखा है इस काम में यहाँ पर जो है बहुत अच्छी बातें मैंने सीखी है कुछ सिखाई है कुछ सीखी है इन लोगों से 
پھر بس یہی ہے یہ لوگ جو ہے بس گاڑیوں وغیرہ میں جاتے ہیں پہلے گدو گھوڑوں میں جاتے ہیں گدو اور گدو اور اونٹوں پہ جاتے تھے اب جو یہ گاڑیوں میں جاتے ہیں بس ایک صبح صبح ویرے اٹھتے ہیں پھر رات کو وہاں پر پہنچ جاتے ہیں سب بھی وہاں پر وہاں پر لکڑے عورتیں بھی لکڑیاں کاٹتے ہیں مرد بھی پھر یہاں پر بیچتے ہیں یہاں پر پھر روزانہ وغیرہ کرتے ہیں پانچ سو چھ سو سے زیادہ اور کچھ نہیں 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 کچھ بھی نہیں بس ویسے پتھروں میں میرا خود یہاں پر یہ ماننا ہے کہ کاش میں یہاں پر ایک ٹیچر ہوتی اور یہ لوگ جو ہے تعلیم وغیرہ کچھ نہیں نہ مدرسے بس ویسے گھومتے رہتے ہیں پتھروں میں چپل وغیرہ بھی نہیں ان لوگوں کا ایسے گھوم رہے ہوتے ہیں To effectively tackle the polio problem in a country as geographically and culturally diverse as Pakistan involves a massive logistical operation. At the heart of these logistics and at the heart of the program is, of course, the polio vaccine. Large numbers of the vaccine are provided to Pakistan by UNICEF and arrive by air at Jinnah International Airport, Karachi, under strict temperature control to guarantee vaccine efficacy. Once carefully unloaded from the aircraft, it is inspected by a member of the Emirates polio campaign to confirm that protocol has been followed. And to then oversee the loading of the vaccines onto the trucks that shift the batch to the provincial cold store. The storage area of these trucks is fitted out with special temperature monitoring devices that output information in real time to the driver's carriage so that the driver can be aware of the temperature that the vaccine is kept in during the drive to the store. Similar devices are also kept within the vaccine containers that record temperature for up to 30 days so that a complete history can be maintained. The cold store itself is the nerve center of the polio program, where the vaccines are stored, maintained, and ultimately distributed to every corner of the country. As mentioned previously, this is a huge logistical undertaking on which the Emirates polio campaign relies. Based on the program's continuous data collection, regional requirements are communicated to the provincial cold store, and as per the approved plan and strategy, the required number of vaccines are dispatched to different areas. Similar cold stores, smaller in scale, have been strategically established all over the country, contributing to the massive distribution effort tackling Pakistan's polio problem. As such, stringent measures are taken to ensure that storage, record keeping, planning and distribution operate at maximum efficiency.
before the vaccine can be distributed and administered, a lot of preparation needs to take place, considering the size of the task at hand. To this end, a robust and proactive training system has been developed over the years to ensure efficiency and effectiveness. Jointly organized by UNICEF, the WHO and the Federal and Provincial Emergency Operations Centers on polio, these trainings cater to more than 24,000 vaccination teams and arm them with the tools required to give them every chance of success. Assalamualaikum. My name is Shiri Robab and my education is intermediate and pre-engineering. I was first teaching. And when I was teaching, there were polio workers who came to the vaccination for children. So I was very interested in it. I wanted to know about polio. And in my house, there were a lot of financial problems. कि मेरे फादर ही नहीं थे और मुझे बहुत मतलब घर की भी मतलब ज़रूरियतें ख्याल रखना था तो इस वजह से मैं इस फील्ड में आई और ये मेरा फील ये मुझे मतलब मुझे पसंद भी है ये फील्ड और मुझे मतलब इसकी नीड भी थी और इससे मेरी फैमिली को बहुत मतलब जो है ना हेल्प मिलती मिलेगी और मेरा ट्रेनिंग का फर्स्ट डे था पहले तो मैं बस मतलब जो वर्कर्स आती थी स्कूल में उनसे पोलियो के मुतल जानती थी लेकिन अब मैं जब आज मेरा फर्स्ट डे ट्रेनिंग में है यहाँ पे जो भी सर हैं सब हैं इन्होंने मुझे गाइड किया सब कुछ समझाया वैक्सीन के बारे में बताया और वैक्सीन कैसे पिलानी है कौन 45 डिग्री पे पिलानी है और जो भी मतलब के रजिस्ट्रेशन इन सब के बारे में बताया और कोविड कोविड के बारे में जैसे हम टीवी में जान रहे थे कि कोविड एक मतलब वायरस है इतना हम उससे कोई मालूम नहीं मिल रही थी लेकिन यहाँ पर आके हमें कोविड के बारे में बहुत कुछ पता चला Topics covered in the interactive training programs include keeping track of children who are not vaccinated during vaccination campaigns, house and finger marking, and interpersonal communication skills. As the human face of the Emirates polio campaign, these are the brave frontline health workers responsible for tackling the polio problem in Pakistan. And no stone is left unturned in providing them with every advantage they can use to succeed in their mission. In the recent past, the focus of worker trainings has also included in-depth and detailed sessions on COVID-19 and how to effectively continue doing their jobs in an environment of global uncertainty. These trainings include providing information about the nature of the virus, its major symptoms and prevention protocols. As a part of the IPC, Infection Prevention Control Protocols, Health workers are brought fully up to speed on COVID-19 SOPs, the correct usage of masks, the importance of social distancing, and the vital role soaps and sanitizers play in curtailing the spread of COVID-19. Skill के ऊपर हम training में team को यही सारी चीजें बताते हैं कि आपने सबसे पहले जो है तो आप जब जाते हैं तो आपकी जो body language है या जो आपकी फैशनल एक्सप्रेशन है जो ग्रीटिंग्स आप करते हैं डायरेक्ट आप पोलियो के बात ना करें आप जिस घर में जाते हैं आपके चेहरे पे स्माइल हो आप उनके साथ दुआ सलाम करें हाल अहवाल मालूम करें उनके घर में कोई बीमार है तो उनका पूछें बच्चों का पूछें कोई बच्चे जो है तो ऐसी हालत में है कि वो कोई गंदे हैं या ऐसे हैं उनको भी प्यार कर ले ये ना हो कि उनसे कहें कि ये बच्चे क्यों गंदे हैं इनको साफ़ क्यों नहीं रखते इस तरह की नहीं हम ऐसी कोशिश करते हैं कि हमारी तरफ से हमारी टीम की तरफ से जो भी कम्युनिकेशन हो वो इस अंदाज से हो इतनी खुश असलूबी से हो आसान फहम अल्फाज हो ताकि वो इनके साथ ताउन करें तो आई के लिए हमेशा हम अपनी टीम को यही ट्रेनिंग देते हैं कि आप जब भी किसी ऐसी कम्यूनिटी के पास जाते हैं जो रिफ्यूज़ल हो या जो रिजिड हो जो सख्त हो जो उनकी तरफ से आपको हमेशा चैलेंजेस का सामना करना पड़ता हो तो उनके साथ आप ज़्यादा टाइम गुजारें और पोलियो को एंड पे बात आप ले आएँ सबसे पहले उनके साथ आप अपनी जो एक बाउंडिंग है वो बना दें तो वो बाउंडिंग इस तरह बनती है कि जब आप उनके साथ जाते हैं उनके साथ बैठते हैं उनके हाल अहवाल मालूम करते हैं तो ये सारी चीज़ें ऐसी हैं जिस पर वो आपको आपके उनसे ताउन हासिल करने में मदद मिलती है आप उनके दिल जीत लेते हैं 
جیسا کہ آپ کو پتہ ہے کہ بہت سارے ایسے چیلنجز ہیں جس کو ان تمام چیلنجز کو کور کرنے کے لیے کمیونکیشن کی مختلف سٹریٹیجیز بنائی جاتی ہے اور ان کو فیلڈ میں پھر امپلیمنٹ کی جاتی ہے تو سب سے پہلے میں یہ آپ کو بتاتا ہوں کہ کمیونکیشن ہے کیا چیز کمیونکیشن بیسیکلی شیئرنگ آف انفارمیشن اور ڈسیمنیشن آف انفارمیشن بیٹوین ون اور مور دین ون پرسن ہے نمبر ون ہے آپ کی باڈی لینگویج دوسری ہے آپ کی ٹون اور تیسرا پھر آپ کا میسج آتا ہے تو اس کا اس سے یہ مراد ہے کہ کمیونیکیشن میں جو سب سے زیادہ رول پلے کرتا ہے وہ آپ کی باڈی لینگویج ہے فرنٹ لائن ورکرز وزٹ این ایوریج اف 27 ہاؤس ہولڈز ا ویک پرووائڈنگ ایڈوائس این کنڈکٹنگ کنسلٹیشنز ود این ایوریج اف 22 انڈیویجوالز ایچ ویک As such, their training also focuses heavily on how to interact with members of the households that they visit on immunization drives. Special emphasis is placed on the importance of body language and creating a rapport to mitigate refusals and increase uptake. Mock sessions are held with health workers to sensitize them with the problems they might face in the field and the reasons for refusal they will most commonly face. They are taught to approach local influencers to have them intervene in cases where other techniques might not work. Influencers are well-known personalities within communities, oftentimes from the same family from where the refusal is originating. بہترین مستقبل لپارا کار کم چی دیدی موزی مرض نہ بچی او دیتا ہے اللہ پاک چھے کم دے دا خطرناک بیمارے نا حفاظت تا پارا مون دا ویکسیشن دے بلکل سا اللہ پاک بیور کی تاسو دے غمون آمون 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 بلکل خوریم دا خبر دا دا حفاظت تا پارا مون دا سیس کو بس اللہ حفاظت کی کندہ بیسے ہو حفاظت تو کی خواہ تاسو کتا مون چھے کندے یا کور ویزٹ کو آگا کرانک ریفیوزل ہو او اس دے ریفیوزل دا کور کول لپارا مون کوشش کو چ ندی خاندان دے مشر دے اگر آپ بس تو دی و اس دا کورکول کوشش کو نتا سو بس دا دی دا کورکول اگر طریقے کار گوری چا مونگ سنگا پا انفلینسر باندی کنونس کو کور کو ہوئے شویف صاحب دا دی کور محلی رشدارم دے او مشرم دے دا دی دا کورکول کوشش کو دی مونگ سرچ کندے مدد کے او دا مشروم با مونگ انشاءاللہ کور کو اول بتا سما تو ہوئی چا مسئلہ سے دا تو ہوا تو چا دا کور السلام علیکم جی السلام فی مسینگ ہے شکر الحمدللہ جی تاسو خیر صحیح تم خدا جی بیان سو مسئلہ دا بس سر جی استاسو دے محلہ کی چکم دے یو ماشوم دے ہاں جی او دا مخامق دا راشد دی کور دے جی دی کی چکم دے یو ماشوم دے راشدی نیز وی ہاں جی دا کا جی دا دی یو ماشوم دے او ما پوئی کڑی ہو کنا یارا یار جی بس دیر دا کوئی نا کوئی بس مائی چرتا سو راسا لگ لڑ شئی او سر او جی نو دیر بہتر ہے بھئی کسبا اور پسی لڑ شو یار جی دا ندار ایک کم مستقبل لے جی کم از کم داشی زو شی نوزا سو مم زمین لگ دا گئی تا او زن سر آگا دا گرو لے راگستی میں راگستی میں آئی راگستی میں ٹول گوری خواہ السلام علیکم سینا خیر چک تا گی یارا دا تا زگور دا تا خواہن تا دیم ما ویلی و دا مشروم تا را کتری ها چاو کنا دا دا مونگ مشمار تا مچی تا سو مچوی خواہ نه نه دا ما مشمار تا پرون واچول کنا تا سو مچوی خواہ واچو با 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 واچو بہت پرانک ریفیوزل تھا انفرنسر کا صرف وہ جو انفرنسر وہ بتاتا ہوں 
हमें कहा गया कि आप लोग उस घर तक पहुंच जाए मैं दूसरे रस्ते से आता हूँ वो आया दरवाजे में सिर्फ सर उसने एंटर किया प्लान कहे जी मौसम तो था कतरी हुआ चाहो कहते बस उस वर्ष जैसे हम गए उसने एक उफ तक नहीं किया उसने कतरे पे लाए इन्फ्लुएंसर का इतना असर होता है लेकिन उस वक्त जब राइट इन्फ्लुएंसर हो जब वो आपको पता हो कि ये बंदा जाके इसको कन्विंस कर सकता है इनका इन्फ्लुएंस है इसके ऊपर जिस तरह इन्होंने कहा कि साउथ पखले चुम गिनी ना चुम इट्स का मतलब ये है कि आपके कहने पर कर रही हूँ तो ये क्या है कि हमने राइट इन्फ्लुएंसर की आइडेंटिफिकेशन अगर फील्ड में कर लें तो बहुत सारे ऐसे केसेस है और अलहमदिल्ला यूसी खजाना में आप देख लें सात सौ पचासी से जस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन तक आए हैं जिसमें भी ग्यारह सिख Only after undergoing this strict and rigorous training are health workers allowed to go out into the field and undertake the vital practice of immunization against polio. This remains no easy task. but it is steadily being tackled by the resilience and resolve of these dedicated frontline health workers this is a grueling exercise that must be undertaken daily once the immunization campaign starts to roll out Morning assembly is a daily routine during campaign days. At every union council level, basic health units provide the ground for polio teams to assemble under their monitors and supervisors to go over the details once again and prep for the day. In light of COVID-19, morning assemblies are conducted under strict COVID SOPs. And Emirates polio campaign workers are monitored and informed of the crucial need to implement COVID SOPs during the campaign in their respective areas. They are also provided with vaccine packs, data collection folders, sanitizers, masks, and maps before they set out. Each team is also given a security briefing, area briefing. influencer information and is provided with security personnel to accompany them throughout the day children per area are divided into a number of days during the campaign and extra days are kept as catch up days to recover missed or refusal cases sanitizer che kam deta so che kala mashumano ta vaccination koi da ge ar mashum na makhe pakara che ta so khala so sanitizer so sanitizer But such is the scale, scope, and efficacy of the Emirates polio campaign that throughout the length and breadth of a land populated by 220 million, a mere handful in comparison, set out every morning through dirt tracks and green fields. Area number three. and they are steadily beating the virus back after the setback in 2019 there is more intent in pakistan today than at any point in its history to rid itself of the polio menace once and for all government leadership program partners and most importantly the staff on ground have doubled down both on determination and effort After recording 147 cases in 2019 the program managed to almost halve that number with 84 cases registered in 2020 and an astonishing one case so far registered in 2021 given the incredible stress and pressures that covid-19 has imposed on the world this is proof that there is nothing stronger than the human will to overcome adversity and obstacles in its path to progress it's about time because pakistan has had too long a history with polio by this point
The fact that it is one of the last two or three countries on the planet still plagued by the virus is yet another factor that fuels desire to see this glorious effort to the end. Just why Pakistan has not been able to deal with polio is an interesting case study into the immense role geographic and cultural diversity play in this whole scenario. Pakistan is adjacent to Afghanistan, another country that still has polio cases and shares a border of over 1,000 kilometers. This makes it very hard to accurately track and trace cases when populations are fluid across the porous border. Within the country itself, infrastructure is a privilege afforded to urban centers, rarely seen in rural Pakistan. Coupled with myths and rumors that have run rife over the years, the result had seen initial refusal rates soar when the program started. It has taken a combined and concerted effort of decades to get a country as vast and diverse as Pakistan to the brink of eliminating polio. It is the nature of the disease that makes it an urgent task to get rid of it. It does not merely waste away limbs and appendages. It destroys a future full of hope and promise and confines it to a constricted world of crutches, wheelchairs, misery, and wasted potential. That is why it is of the utmost importance that these health workers scour every road, lane, and side alley, that they knock on every door to reach every child, because if even one slips through the cracks, the results are devastating. Eradicating polio is not an easy mission. Noting that promoting international cooperation and forging partnerships are among the key factors that will help maintain progress. The significant success achieved by the campaign in Pakistan is the outcome of the directives of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan and the initiative of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. Along with the close monitoring of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs. The campaign was implemented thanks to an initiative of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed to eradicate polio around the world in line with the UAE's humanitarian approach and cooperation with international organizations through drafting social development programs, curbing the spread of pandemics and diseases, providing humanitarian and health aid to underprivileged communities and people, and supporting global polio eradication initiatives. The campaign has achieved a resounding success in providing vaccines to the children of Pakistan. In areas which have never been reached by any other international campaigns in many years, such as Bara, Fata, and Char Sada, in addition to high. Bara, a small town in the erstwhile federally administered tribal area, Fata. In recent years, the area has seen its share of violence and conflict due to instability and terrorism. A multitude of military operations have left their legacy on the landscape, but have ultimately brought a seldom known peace and stability to the region. This meant no access to the region for the Emirates polio campaign. After 2014, partial access was restored, but the going was tough. Only after 2018, this large tract of land was merged with the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province and problems of limited access have finally been resolved. However, the long years of isolation have meant that polio has left its mark here also, as on many other parts of the country. This is Hudaybiyah, a polio case that the Emirates polio campaign came across in 2015. 
a polio victim that was a result of inaccess to vaccination, instability and an overall adverse situation. My name is Dr. Shere Amin and I am working as a district communication officer here. We are in the district of district cyber agency in the district of Bada. Because in 2009 there was an operation here. That's why the alerts were broken. That's why the people started to get out of here. That's why we had a lot of people here. हमारे पोलियो टीम का जो है ना वो एक्सेस नहीं था तो जिसकी वजह से काफी बच्चे जो है ना वो पोलियो उनको हो गया था और पोलियो से की वजह से मादूर हो चुके थे तो उसके बाद ही जो है ना हम 2014 में तकरीबन 70 बच्चे इस तरह थे जिनको पोलियो कंफर्म हो गया था और वो बच्चे अभी तक वो मादूर हैं तो उसके बाद ही एमिरेट्स पोलियो कैंपेन ने जो है ना वो साथ साथ जो है ना ये सपोर्ट शुरू कर दी और हम कुछ कुछ इलाकों तक रसाई होती रही विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ एलिए दिन अदर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन तो वो हमारी कैंपेन जो है ना वो साथ साथ शुरू होती रही और हमने काफी मतलब कुछ एरियास जहां पे हमारी रसाई मुम्म की थी वहां पे टीमें बेच दी थी उसके बाद ही जब कंपेन शुरू हुई तो हमारी केसेस में उसके बाद रफ्तार रफ्तार कमी शुरू होगी क्योंकि 2014 में यहां पे 74 केसेस थे और उसके बाद ही जिस तरह इमरेश ने अपनी कंपेन शुरू कर दी और हमारी सपोर्ट शुरू बच्चों को वैक्सीन मिलती रही तो अब केसेस जो है ना 2015 में हमारे साथ वो तकरीबन 11 केसेस जो है थे ना वो आ गए थे और उसके बाद जो है ना हमारे एक्सिट शुरू हुआ और लोग जो है ना यहाँ पे वैक्सीन देते रहे तो अब अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह हमारी यहाँ पे सिचुएशन जो है ना वो काफी बेहतर Now, six years on, she has paralysis in her right leg, which remains stiff and offers limited mobility. Her father drives a cab, but makes sure that she attends school. He picks her up every day and brings her back home and motivates her to follow her dreams. She wants to become a doctor when she grows up. She uses a brace to get around, and while life has regained some semblance of normality for her, she will be confined to the brace or a crutch for all her life. This is a life no child should be exposed to. At an age where her peers dream all they can be, perhaps the only dream that girls like Hudebia can have are ones where they are free to move as they please, unhindered and unencumbered by the cruel circumstance of the polio virus. The United Arab Emirates agreed to extend financial assistance for anti-polio vaccination in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and federally administered tribal areas in 2014. Ambara was a starting point of a cohesive, comprehensive and strategically designed campaign ground. From vaccine delivery to frontline worker security, polio drops administration and community acceptance, each step was carefully ensured. A successful campaign in the region after a long time laid out the pathway for a dream to achieve a polio-free world one day.
Peshawar district has always remained a flashpoint in polio eradication campaigns. It is one of the reservoirs in Pakistan which is still active and transporting the virus from Peshawar to a lot of nearby and far districts like Rawalpindi, Lahore, Quetta and Karachi. Since 2016, the campaign performance in Peshawar was extraordinary. For the past three years, although the virus was present in the environment, still no polio case was reported, particularly since 2016. Therefore, the campaign was on the right footing until the unfortunate incident of the 22nd of April 2019. It all started in Mashukhe, an extremely security compromised area for the past two years. But the security agencies established the writ of the government after some major operations against extremists. This rural area of the Peshawar district reported the unfortunate incident. Peshawar ke ilaqe Bart Bair ke school mein polio qatre peene se 60 se zaid bachcho ki halat ghair ho gayi. Asatza ne ilzam aayit kiya hai ki polio teamo ne bachcho ko qatre pilaye jiske fauri baad bachcho ki tabiyat bigar gayi. Coordinator Emergency Operation Center ke mutabik vaccine zaidul mayad nahi balki bilkul thik thi. Isi par baat karenge apni numainda Yusra Sethi se. Yusra sach kya hai aur fasana hai? Darul Kalam school a private religious school of Mashukhe, where the polio teams had already suffered a lot in convincing the administration of the school, but they had been rejecting the polio vaccination for its students. At 9 a.m., the children of Darul Kalam were vaccinated by the teams. Around 9.30 a.m., the children complained of stomach ache and vomiting. Dr. Najib, along with a medical health technician, were present at the spot to monitor the situation. And they examined all the children present there, and they were satisfied that nothing of the sort had happened. All children were in a natural, healthy state. But the story took a drastic turn when the principal of the school informed the parents of the children about the vaccine and its adverse impact on the children. He called and texted the parents to take their children to the hospital. As soon as this message reached the parents, the community came out in anger and called the ambulances to take the children. The entire village started to get embroiled in panic, hysteria and impatience. Some elements of the mob then took matters into their own hands and set the only basic health unit facility of the area on fire. They threatened the medical staff present there and broke all the equipment and burnt the rooms. First of all, when person came there, there was no after that, the door was closed and the door was closed. We were 
यहाँ पे लोग बिल्टे हुए और यहाँ पे तोड़ फोड़ किया है और फिर इन सब चीज़ों को आग लगाई है यहाँ पे हमारे रिकॉर्ड थे हमारे लोग सारा रिकॉर्ड हमारा पोलियो का और दूसरा रिकॉर्ड भी आई रिकॉर्ड सारे यहाँ पे इसी रिकॉर्ड पे पड़ा था वो सारा डिस्ट्रॉय है गया This fueled the anti-polio program elements to further damage the cause by spreading out false information about the vaccine through loudspeakers in the mosques, requesting the parents of different areas to take their vaccinated children to hospitals. Videos of the burning BHU went viral on social media, and a wave of panic, misinformation, rumors and propaganda encapsulated the entire program. Following the mass hysteria and panic along with the loudspeaker announcement from mosques, all union councils of the district started taking their children to the hospitals with similar complaints of stomach ache and vomiting. It is pertinent to mention here that none of the government schools of Peshawar reported any such complaint. From a target of 300,000 children for the first day, only 38% had been reached. Up until 5 p.m., 767 cases were reported in major hospitals of Peshawar. They were thoroughly examined, and none of them reported any problem whatsoever. After 5 p.m., a very systematic propaganda started on social media, and around 8 p.m., 25,000 children were brought to various hospitals in Peshawar. 